hello everyone this is christian and you are welcome back to the don't help channel so in today's video i'm going to walk you through how you can implement picker functionality in your mobile application so for those who don't know what picker is about imagine you are building your mobile application and you have a list of items that you would like to populate for selection that is what picker is about so on my physical device as you can see i have some list of fruits that i would like to select from okay so when you, currently it's apple that is being selected so when you click on apple a pop-up menu appears and we have a list of the fruits that you can possibly select okay so I, I can now select let's say orange then now orange has been selected okay so this is what the picker is all about so ideally if you want to implement this functionality or this feature it will take you approximately let's say 20 to 25 minutes to do that but i'm going to show you a shortcut which you can use to implement this in less than five minutes so for this and more let's get into it Alright guys, so I've already set up my projects and if you don't know how to set up your projects, I have a video on that. I'll leave the link down below so you can just click on it to check how you can set up your project as well. And I'm using VS Code as my code editor and I'm going to be previewing my mobile application on my physical device with the help of Go. So you can just check out the video and all of that has been already covered. So for now, what I'm just going to do is uh, first run my application by opening a new terminal okay so in my terminal i'm just going to type in npm space bar run start okay to start my metro bundler for me all right so once our metro bundler is ready the next thing is to scan the QR code okay using the expo goal so on my physical device i've already launched my expo goal and i'm going to click on the scan QR code and I'm going to scan the QR code so it's supposed to start downloading okay so it's building and once it's done we can preview our mobile application on our physical device okay. so we are having a uh, text being displayed which is welcome to don't have All right so this is what is currently displaying so in order to implement our functionality you have to install a library okay which is the picker library so I'm just going to install that so you can just open a new terminal okay so right here you click on the plus button to open a new terminal for you and here you're just going to type in npx expo install at react native hyphen that is hyphen picker forward slash picker okay so npx spacebar expo spacebar install spacebar at react hyphen native hyphen picker forward slash picker <laughs> yeah so that is what you are supposed to install so i'm just going to press enter to install that all right so we've been able to install the library successfully and when you check in your package.json file you could see under dependencies we have at react native picker here okay so now we can proceed so first of all you have to import the library okay so down here i'm just going to type in import okay and then from we are going to import from at react native picker so we have react native picker um for slash picker okay and in there we would like to import picker okay. so we also have to import a couple of things which is the a hook so you have to import and then from react okay so from react we like to import our use state um, use state and also import use ref okay. so inside our function this our app function we can now uh, declare so our selected item so selected item and then which is the variable that we like to uh, store whatever we've, be, we've selected which is the fruits that we've selected and also we have set selected item so this is a function that is we are going to use it to update this variable okay so use it 
and then for now you just leave it as now and then we are also going to stick at the okay. so, pick a rep so pick a rep right and then you are going to call the use ref here okay so now down here so below the text i would like to uh, use the picker components that we imported at the top here in here okay and i would like to pass in a couple of props here so the first one i would like to pass is the reference and we are using the picker ref okay and then the next one i would like to pass is the selected item which is the selected value so selected item next one next one is the on value change so whenever we uh, tap or we click on the picker item we select something this function will, the function will be called okay so we have to pass in the function and we dictate what is supposed to happen when whenever the value changes okay so i'm just going to call the function which is a set set selected item so remember i told you we are going to use this function here to update this value okay so we call that function and then we pass in um here we have to get an item from here okay and i'm going to call it item value okay. and then i'm going to pass that item value here okay so whenever we change our, or whenever we make a selection this function will be triggered okay and then once it's been triggered we get the value from as a parameter and then we can pass that value to our selected item to update the selected item yeah hope it sounds pretty cool now i would like to add a style to it so let's say um, style and i'm going to give it a width of this 90 percent okay Yes, that, that doesn't stretch all over the screen okay and then now inside it we have to add our items so i'm just going to say picker oops, picker dot item and then supposed to be just a self closing and then we will now type in our label so our label let's say a pull okay and then the value should be any name okay so i'm just going to use the lower case of the name okay so let's save this and see if we could get any changes on that all right so as you can see on my screen we have the um, let me just bring this one here okay, so as you can see on my screen we have the apple right so when you click on it a pop-up menu appears but currently we have only one item in it so we can duplicate it uh, a couple of times and then the next one let's choose a different thing which is let's say banana and then here make it banana okay then when you save it right we have banana there all right so the next one can be let's say uh mango okay and then here you just change it to mango let's add a couple of see orange and then we add orange okay mm, i think it's fine right okay, so as you can see on your screen and also on my screen we have the listed item there so we can select let's say mango and then mango is being selected okay i think we should change the title here let's see select the fruit or something right select right so i think yeah that's it so we've been able to implement that so you can change it change it to a different one change it to another right and whatever you select is being saved here so we'll, if you, uh, later you can just grab it and use it for whatever purpose you like to use it for. i hope this video really helped if it did kindly click on the subscribe button like the video share with friends and turn on your notifications so that you can get amazing content from us Thank you, see you in the next video and happy coding.